Hey, Sky King here. I want to talk to you guys and girls about um, the Skyland update for PC and Xbox. Uh, a couple weeks ago now, I did a big 2.0 or a 3.0, I don't know, release. I would say 2.0 release for Skyland on Xbox and PC. And a lot of big updates and changes, especially to the Rift and a few other places. Uh, and then for Xbox, we broke it up into two different mods because it just got too big um, for the one gig limit uh, for Xbox. Um, over the last couple of weeks, got a lot of feedback on the PC user side for um, some of the new textures. And I've been sorting through those, getting some of the alpha maps refined, um, adjusted some of the colors to blend a lot better. And... Uh, a few other little just tweaks and stuff like that. Um, and then I also just completely redid a couple of them. And a few that I didn't redo in the first big update I've redone, such as the dirt cliffs um, I redid to better match the dirt color. And we released Skyland Tents. And now that is bundled. And... Realistic Waters 2 came out with a big update and broke Skyland watercolors, and that's been a mess sorting that out. Um, but that has now been fixed, I believe, and has now also been bundled also. So, with all of that being said, I want to go over what is covered in Skyland. Now, before, everything was covered. And everything that was covered before is covered now with the addition of Tents and High Hrothgar. Those are the two additions. Um, the rest of it is simply updated textures. So like I mentioned before, all new Rift landscape textures, all new... I want to say half of the Rift in textures have been redone. All of the Stonework and White Run, all of the Tundra grass, new forest grass... Uh, the all new riverbed textures, new <clears throat> farmhouse, which I call towns and cities, um, towns and villages, stone walls and floors have been redone, uh, all new roads with smoother stones now, new dirt textures, new dirt paths, new snow grass textures, um, dirt cliffs I mentioned already, um, white run like I said has been totally revamped. There's just so much there, I can't even remember all of the stuff that I've done. Um, a lot of revamping. And so, like I said, everything that was there before is there now, but uh, just looks better. Oh yeah, uh, the Nordic, Nordic ruins have been completely, all of the textures have been redone. Same for the Imperial Forts and Dungeons have all, all been redone. Now, um... For Xbox, there's been a lot of people that were upset that it was broken into two mods and that it's just so much larger now. It's only two, three hundred megabytes larger just because of High Hrothgar. Simple as that. Not even with the tents, just High Hrothgar was a 200 or megabyte or a 70 megabyte or it was bigger. It made it, it, the old AIO was right at one gig, so adding even a handful more textures would have pushed it over the limit. And to get it to fit in the one gig limit, I had to take a lot of textures to 512 to make them fit. Textures that I was hoping that people wouldn't notice. But now that it would broke up into two, I could do everything at 1K for Xbox. And so now everything is at 1K where it should be. Some things are still at 512, like nail heads, right? So you, you don't need a 1K or a 2K nail head. It's a... A very small detail. 512 is perfectly fine. Even that's too big. So uh, there's that. Um, and it will stay broken up as two different mods. Um, and it is less amount of ESP files because you don't need any patches. Everything is built in. Oh yeah, blended roads. Shout out to the mod author for that, um, for letting me use the meshes. So that also made it slightly bigger also. Um, 
So Blended Roads comes in both uh, PC and Xbox version. Now, for the Xbox, like I said, it will stay as two broken up mods since there's two different mods, landscapes and architecture, all, all in ones. Um, I could enhance the textures to be slightly larger in size. Some things that were 512 are now 1K where they should be. Um, things that should have been 2K were put down to 1K. For instance, the white run wall, um, the retaining wall inside the city. Uh, on vanilla, it's 4K by 2K. On uh, the original AIO for Xbox, I made it 512 by 1K. Now it's 2K, 1K, where it should be for Xbox. So um, it's, it's a compromise of visual... Um, aesthetics versus um, ease of use, I guess, in terms of size. And striking that balance is difficult. So it's no longer two or three downloads before, like you needed the AIO plus the patches and everything. Now you just need two downloads, which is the um, AIO landscapes and AIO architecture. So uh, coming up in the future will be the Skyland Lods. We'll get an update. So for right now, if you want to use the old ones, you can. You, they won't match, um, but I will hopefully get that updated soon. Uh, once I can figure out how I can take it, how I see it on PC, and how I want it to be on Xbox. Um, probably PC is not going to get any logs because most people just generate them how they want them on their own. So everybody has different needs on PC. So um, some people want 128 on the texture resolution for the LODs. Some people want 1024. So um, once I can get the fidelity that I want out of it in a packageable form for Xbox, I will update it on the Xbox. Um, until then, you can just use the old LOD, but like I said, the landscapes will mismatch. So there is that to know. Um, I will be rolling out the individual updates on Xbox over the next month. Um, AIO for PC is being uploaded as we speak, and everything else should be groovy. I should get the individual ones on PC up, um, uploaded over the month also. Just have to zip them and upload them and go through that rigmarole on all, like, 30 mods. So, that's it. I hope this clears some things up. Um, there's not going to be... There's no future changes or plans for xbox or, or pc on changing how anything is set up right now um uh so that'll be it um if there's anything else just uh drop me a line and i will talk to you all later thanks mm -hmm.